Hey, it's your TC Josie. Today I'll be reviewing Gmail's labels and filters to kind of help you stay organized. And at the end of the transaction, you can go ahead and print all of your transaction emails to save it in a file. Towards the end, I will be going over an extra tip um, that'll save a lot of time for you. So stick around, make sure you like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. So whether you are cleaning up your current inbox or you're starting fresh uh, on a new transaction the first thing you're going to do is search mail here and you will start off with everyone in the transaction so you'll put their email here at the next person and the next Now, this is everyone in the transaction professionally. If there was a buyer, um, the, the list, this, I'm sorry, the buyer's agent is the buyer. So um, if there was buyers, I would put them here too. So once you put them in here uh, that way, the spaces are basically saying, show me all of the emails that have Xavier and Morgan and Bill and Herg. But to do it where it's, any emails through a cross set so basically xavier or morgan or bill you would want to put a bracket right at the front so we'll put a bracket at the front and a bracket at the back of it click enter and now it's showing us every email i've had with xavier no matter whether Morgan was on it or not, or whether Bill was on it or not. So now I'm seeing everyone, um, everyone's individual email. So this is basically a group. This is the filter. Um, and now you can create that filter. So you would click this um, arrow going down. This already has your words in it. Well, it's the emails, but this is how you have to set it up to be able to have it for all of those people um, in a single um filter so uh this really i don't I'm, i don't know if this matters or not the date within but i'm just going to put a year i don't want to exclude anything um and that's all that you'll need on this part and then you'll just click create filter and then it brings you to another menu there are a lot of things you can filter by but for transactional purposes and you keeping track of your communications i would just put apply the label now you're going to create a label here that is going to show up on the left hand side, your menu there. So you'll create a label, a new label, and we'll call this Peachtree, which is the street address or the street name. Create. So it'll go into a label called Peachtree whenever you get communication from those people. And then at the bottom, if you are jumping into this mid transaction and you have a bunch of emails that you've already um, had with these people, you would want to click this. Also apply filter to matching conversations. So it's going to add your previous emails to this uh, label now. So once you click those two, those are the only ones that you'll really need. You'll click or uh, create filter. You've created the filter and it's in here. So now when you open this up, all of the emails that you have are gonna be in one place. So I will say, if you are working on multiple transactions with a specific agent, um, unfortunately, there's not a great way. I've tried to kind of play around with it where like this address I said, you know, excludes or doesn't, um, or excludes Brookhaven, but it just didn't, it wasn't uh, right. So I kind of found, found a way around that. And um, in here, I'll just write Brookhaven. So I'm searching this. Uh, oh, actually here, let me see. Peach tree, did I do this right? Okay, there you go. Um, so I search Brookhaven. I realized I messed up because it should have been label peach tree and then what I wrote. It had something different there. So that's how I knew it was screwed up. So if I search Brookhaven, which is a different property that I have going on with um, uh, Xavier, I can 
click that off or click that and actually I think there's like no there's not so I'll click all of them that have Brookhaven in them which is in this property and I will remove that label and it'll go away um, now I would strongly suggest before you do print them and put them in just go through it and make sure that there are no weird um, things that caught into that um, and it looks like we're clean and good to go So now we've had we have this big group. Let me turn this off. Sorry, guys. Um, now we have this with all the communication in this. Now we're at the very end of the transaction, and you want to print all of these emails off for them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to um, Chrome, search Chrome extensions. And you'll go to the Chrome uh, Web Store and you're going to um, add the pretty print Gmail extension. So when you go in here, it is free. You'll add the extension. Obviously, I have it. So it'll appear right up here. Um, and it usually hides them at first. So you're going to want to pin it so that you can see that at the very top. Or you can leave it in your extensions menu, whatever. So um, once you go ahead and download that, I'll probably pause here if you're doing this all at the same time. I do work a little bit fast, so I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. So now we've got the extension on here. We're inside of our um, filtered label, and we will click, hit this print, Got 50 emails, and it's going to have everything all in one place. So we've got 170 pages, this transaction, the destination is save as PDF. I don't know if the preview is going to stop me from saving, but okay, there you go, save. And then you can put it wherever you'd like um, in, your, uh, in your computer there. And uh, that's basically, you know, that part, I mean, it, it is easy enough. It's just that extension. Um, and, you know, being able to filter that, that, that's great. So whenever uh, you do get a new email from, from anyone here, it is going to have the label and it's going to stick it automatically straight to that label here on the left, because you filtered it to say, okay, if this person sends me something, um, I want it to go into this folder. Um, so that's how you are going to uh, go ahead and organize that. So after a transaction, I usually just go ahead, since I've printed everything, I just trash everything. That way I'm not super, uh, you know, I'm not crowding with data um, on my inbox. I don't really need it. If I do need to look something up, I can look that PDF up. And if I hit Control F, uh, which is find, if I'm looking for a specific word or, you know, a specific, you know, something there, um, I can I can look on that PDF. So there's that. Now, I did promise a little tip. Um, I like to add here. I'm going to open up. I'm going to add this group as well, this label as well to a contact label. So if you hit that button there, go to contacts. Um, and you can create a label. When you create a label, you can name it whatever you want, test. And then these are your contacts, the people in your contact. If you wanted to add just the uh, lender and the, or I'm sorry, that's the co-op. The co-op and the buyer's agent to this, all you'd have to do is click that and then send it to test as well. So those two are in test and they're also in Peachtree. You can do that. Now, um, this here, it kind of saves you a little bit of time when you're actually sending emails. So if, and also if you have a lot of transactions going, you don't know who is who and what's going on, but if you see an email, it'll ring a bell for you. So when you're composing emails, you can just put Peachtree, and it's going to put everyone on that transaction. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, this person. 
let's say you only need to send an email out to uh, Herb and the buyer's agent. You could just take the rest of the people off, but at least everyone's grouped in and you can just, I know the street name, put the street name in and it pulls in every single person that is uh, in your contacts in that group as well, uh, which saves a lot of time, especially when you're uh, doing a lot of transactions. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if there's any other tips and tricks that you want to hear a little more about. I'd love to learn uh, some new things and share it with you guys as well. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit me up on Facebook. You can find my page, TC by Josie, there and follow for tips and tricks there too. <laughs> Thanks and see you later.